and so I've actually been galled, but he was like so close. Galt. I get ghouled a lot. Which is annoying because I'm not really a ghoulish person. <laughs> you can't tell that. So anyway, you may be asking yourself why I'm wearing a coat that makes me look like I own either Jehovah's Witness or a James Bond henchman <laughs> named Mr. Rape. <laughs> and don't don't worry, I'm not gonna show you my penis. It's not it's not that impressive. <laughs> so, well, my friends thought it was funny. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how many of you guys have an uncle? Anybody? Yeah. 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 Now, how many of you guys have that uncle? <laughs> so, like, that, that uncle that teaches you swear words and gets kicked out of movie theaters with <laughs> that kind of uncle. So, anyway, my birthday was on the 22nd, and um, a couple weeks after he um, grabs it and throws his coat up, I think he mumbles something about happy birthday. I don't think he knew it was late, but he just kind of threw it in. He grabs a couple of beers for the road, <laughs> and then he walks out. So, lacking context, I was kind of wondering why he would do such a thing. So, I've kind of, I know he's been in some legal trouble in the past, and <laughs> I'm wondering, I've never found out what he did, so could he have been using it in the streets? Needed to get rid of the evidence, so he gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Or he just forgot it. Or he just forgot my birthday and looked in his closet for the thing that I would love most. If I was a pedophile from a Humphrey Bogart movie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I found this story, and this, I shit you not, this is the title of the story. Man Stabbed for Blood Suck Refusal. <laughs> so apparently some person has let his roommate suck his blood in the past. But you know, this time, I wasn't really feeling like having his roommate suck his blood, so <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> so continuing the spectrum of what the fuckery, he reportedly stabs the person and says, fuck you, you motherfucker. And I'm kind of bothered by that story. Not by the fact that he um, stabbed the person to a sucker blood. I'm totally open with that. I live in Seattle. Open to love, man. <laughs> the part that when he stabbed him, all he could say was, fuck you, you motherfucker. I mean, that's like what a fifth grader says when he's trying to act cut in front of his friends. So, <laughs> why don't he say something like, it's not you, it's your type? <laughs> or, I want to suck your blood, but you're being a dick about it, so I'm going to stab you. <laughs> and that's all I got, thanks. <laughs>